Today I'm headed to the Dollar Tree to see if I can take $5 and turn it into 5 delicious meals for one person. First I'm getting a sausage chub. This is 7 ounces of sausage. Next I'm going to go ahead and get this stir fry blend. We'll see what kind of veggie mixes we have in there. Our third ingredient is going to be tortillas. This has 12 tortillas per pack. And then our very last ingredient is going to be this adobo burrito bowl kit which comes with some cilantro lime rice, a little bit of adobo seasoning, and a pouch of queso. We're also using no freebies, not even salt or pepper in this one. My last video had so many seasonings because of it being Indian food, so I decided to scale way back in this video. So this is the pouch of seasoning, here's the pouch of the queso, and then you saw the pouch of rice. This is what it looks like inside. And this rice had a lot of really good flavor in it. I enjoyed it immensely. Here I'm just adding in the water and the rice and going ahead and getting that cooked up. Here's our queso taken out of the pouch. It's very thick. So I did end up adding about two to three tablespoons of water just to thin it out a little bit. And that's our adobo seasoning mix, which if you don't like something a little spicy, this does have a little spice to it. So just a heads up. And again, I used my trick of opening up those green beans and getting the peas out for one of our dishes. Today we'll be making sausage and rice lasagna, adobo rice quesadilla, stir fried tortilla noodles, sausage and rice stuffed enchiladas, and stir fried sausage and veggie rice. And for each of the meals, I tried to chop things up just a little bit differently just because that adds a lot of variety into each of your meals. You're going to see I cubed some of the carrots, I made some into matchsticks, I chopped up the some of the veggies really small and some I left really big. Here's our rice perfectly cooked. It's nice and fluffy and ready to start making into these meals. First up we got that sausage and rice lasagna. I went in and took three tablespoons of that sausage and cooked it up really well. Then I added in my veggies which ended up being about a third a cup of different veggies. We had carrots and peppers in this one and about a half a cup of the rice. Then I put in a teaspoon of that adobo seasoning and just stirred it all around. And then I started layering my tortillas. I used two tortillas that I had cut into fourths and I layered it. I put a little bit of that mixture, the rice and veggie mixture on top. Then I drizzled a little bit of that thinned out queso on each of those and then added a tortilla and just kept going with that pattern going until I had finished off all of the tortillas and all of the rice. Then I let it brown on one side and flipped it over and then let it brown on the other side and while it was browning I went ahead and drizzled a little extra of the cheese sauce on it. Next we're making these adobo rice quesadillas. We're going to take two tablespoons of our sausage and brown that up. Then add in our third a cup of veggies. This has peppers and sliced up green beans. I did those French style. Then a half a cup of rice and a teaspoon of that adobo seasoning. I went ahead and set that aside after everything had cooked through and set down my tortilla. Then I spread out that rice and veggie mixture into it along with that sausage and went ahead and drizzled a little bit of queso on top and then added my other tortilla. Then I let that brown and heat all the way through and then I flipped it and you can see it's nice and golden brown on one side. I let that other side crisp up as well and get a little bit brown and then I went ahead and plated it onto my plate and used a pizza cutter just to slice it into four different slices. This was really delicious. I actually ate this one right as I was making the videos and it was the perfect lunch. So perfect idea for a quick and easy lunch and also very tasty. Next up, we're going to be making some stir fry tortilla noodles. Now we're going to be using our tortillas, three of them, as if they were noodles. We're going to slice them up in whatever shape you want them to, you can slice them into. I tried to slice them kind of thinly, so they kind of mimicked some egg noodles or like a spaghetti noodle type of texture. 
then I went ahead and set those aside and got to work on our base which is going to be three tablespoons of sausage that we've browned up we're gonna go ahead and add in a fourth of a cup of water a teaspoon of our adobo seasoning then we're gonna add in a heaping half a cup of veggies this has whole green beans matchbook style cut up carrots those noodles of course i added in and you're also going to have a little bit of broccoli in there i went ahead and just kind of mixed this as best i could as you're mixing it you're going to want to mix it kind of quickly and maybe use a fork after you get the initial mix just to help to separate those noodles otherwise you will have a little bit of a glob of noodles which doesn't sound very appetizing but it'll still taste good <laughs> even if it does end up looking like that but this is what it ended up looking like and it tasted delicious. I would say it's not spot on with noodles, but it mimics that texture just about right. And I definitely would make this again. Now we're making some sausage and rice stuffed enchiladas. We're gonna go ahead and take three tablespoons of our sausage and brown it up. Add in a half a cup of water and a teaspoon of that adobo seasoning. Now we're adding in a third of a cup of veggies, which this is green beans and chopped up broccoli. Now we're adding in about two tablespoons of that queso dip just to help make that inside a little bit more cheesy and creamy. Now we're adding in a half a cup of our cooked rice and mixing it all together until it's well combined. Then we're gonna set it aside. Now we're going to take our tortillas and spoon in about two to three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of that mixture into each of our tortillas. I'm using four of them and we're going to go ahead and just roll those in. Make sure you tuck up those ends so that way everything stays inside and doesn't spill out and then lay them into your skillet. I like to use this skillet a lot. Using just one pan is just my way of making things even easier on myself. If you're just cooking for yourself, it is helpful just to use fewer dishes and makes less work. You can see I'm really struggling with uh, putting this tortilla into an enchilada shape, but I get it eventually. And now we'll fast forward. And here we have all four delightful tortillas, very beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and spread the rest of that cheese dip on top. Now you won't need the cheese dip for anything else. So whatever you have left, just spread it on this meal because this is the meal to go heavy on the cheese dip. I did put the lid on, which you see I found the right lid eventually. <laughs> and here's our finished dish. It's beautiful, delicious. I sprinkled a little bit of that adobo seasoning on top. If you had some fresh cilantro, it would probably make this even prettier. But unfortunately, I did not at this point in time. These were so cheesy and delicious. You definitely got to try this one. Now we're making a stir fried sausage and veggie rice. We're taking about two tablespoons of sausage, which we browned up a cup of our rice, which is the last of the rice that we have left. And then a third of a cup of veggies. This is some cubed carrots and the peas that were inside those green beans that we split open earlier. Then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of our adobo seasoning and mix all that together and add in a third of a cup of water. And here's that second teaspoon of adobo seasoning. So two teaspoons of adobo seasoning, a third of a cup of water, mix it all together and it should come all together really nicely. I set that aside, then I went ahead and browned up our last tortilla. I just flipped it one side and then flipped it on the other after it had started to brown a little bit. And these just crisp up really nicely and add a little bit of a scoop for your dish. And here's our finished dish. This was so simple, so filling and delicious. And I love a good stir fried rice because it helps use up a lot of random ingredients, which is kind of what you have left at the end of a budget meal, which speaking of what we had left, all we had left was this amount of adobo seasoning. Everything else was used in this meal and we didn't have to use anything besides what we bought. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.